In this video, I'm going to be going through a progress report from camp out in Portugal, where I spent the past couple of weeks training and preparing for the season. I'll be going through my goals versus my achievements from the camp, but also how much I trained and also some key sessions. Really quickly, 74% of you who watch this channel have not yet hit the subscribe button. So do me a favor, and if you have ever enjoyed the channel, please hit it. The bigger the channel gets, the better the content, and hopefully the better insights and entertainment I can bring. Quick overview, my goals for the camp were to increase my volume, maintain intensity, but also to muck in with the squad. I don't understand why you're I set out the start of the year with some numbers from testing, so I knew exactly where I was and what I needed to do to improve that. So basically camp was all about going about doing those changes, making those changes in order to improve. I don't understand why you're thinking of me Specifically for me, they showed that overall there was nothing in particular that I needed to work on. It was just a well-rounded program in order to kind of increase everything and just get generally fit. Yeah. <laughs> Those feet be dragging. Fortunately, this worked really well with the squad program because the squad program tends to hit everything within a month or within a couple of weeks, so it worked well with what I needed personally. <laughs> Essentially, I needed to up my muscular conditioning and aerobic base, i.e. I just needed to up the volume. Intensity, yes, it's fine to keep the same because I was actually already doing a fair bit. So to do that alongside naturally increasing the intensity and overall load on camp just worked well for me. So it, was, it came at the right time. So now on a oh, 10 to 12k run, nice 6k swim done with some well, supposedly LT1 efforts, but you also swim quite quick today. And we try and run straight after the swim because otherwise you get back from swimming, you have that come down or you try to swim after the chain gang late and you're knackered. So uh, yeah, on the trail, getting it done. This looked like about a 20% increase on my total volume before camp. So maybe from 28 to 34, 35, 36 hours. It's a nice day for you. <laughs> so going into the numbers, in week one, I was around 34, almost 35 hours. So by week two, which was closer to 36 hours, I was really starting to feel the stress starting to feel the strain on my arms and legs essentially mainly because these were the biggest weeks that i've ever done <laughs> whilst i found that i coped with them really well fatigue still set in i was still starting to feeling at the end of those couple of weeks because it's not like i was rested going into the camp at all i'd already done a 28 hour week before i got out there so with travel, with additional load and probably additional training stress as well in terms of intensity, just naturally, by the end of the camp, I was certainly ready to head home, get some rest and just reset and go again. We're going to get too comfortable in the lanes because we're going to go this, like, both lanes at the same time. I've deliberately written it as hard, control hard. There were tons of key sessions and takeaways from actually doing the camp and what we did out there. I was out there for two full weeks and a little bit longer, but within those two weeks, the standout ones for me were probably a swim that we did. It was about a 4K main session, main set of the session, um, which included something along the lines of two 100s pretty solid with an 800 swim off of that. Again, solid, but not too hard all aimed to be in and around threshold, and I held about 71s for the 100s and 74s per 100 on the long distance reps. Yeah. 
there were slight nuances to that. I think the distances changed, whether it be the three, four, five, one hundreds versus this 800, 700, 600s in, within the rep. But the principle was the same. Like you had a few short reps and then a longer rep. And I actually swam really well. I was really pleased with how I swam that. Um, I was pretty consistent throughout. My lactics were good as well. So yeah, really good key session, big hit out, really good muscular endurance there. And yeah, just looking forward to kind of consolidating that now that I'm back in Cardiff. Another key one was a good chain gang session. Not really for the physiological hit, but it was really good fun. I really enjoyed doing it. I even won a sprint finish at the end, but yeah, no, it was good. There was a lot of power held throughout that. So I think it was about 350, 356 watts for the 70 minutes that we did the chain gang, uh, which is good. Like that's good numbers. Everyone mucked in really well. Everyone rode really well in terms of like skill as well as execution and kind of managing themselves throughout. So I really, really valued that session and thought it was a great little hit out. Remember, I want to know this with me. Go on! Story of his day. When we, when we got to an hour, I was just like... Dead. <laughs> Nah, it was a 70 minute chain gang with some hills. Just general kind of oh, solidness. Lot. Yeah, do you want in? Oh, um, we'll go and see all the ants. These two <laughs> absolute sausages, honestly. Who's getting points of these? They, they might be mine, actually. Miss, uh, Robbie was getting angry because apparently people kept burning through, but honestly, that could be about 90 watts high, am I right? Oh, right. Everyone had a good day out actually. Guy had a specifically good day out. Oh, Derry, Derry's my day out. most combative. Yeah, Derry had a MVP. Most combative, I think they call it. Combative. He did, he did go pretty well. Um, Dom was a standout performer as well. He's always there. He's always there. I think I averaged, normalised three, five, six, but it was quite spiky. Anyone else got any numbers? I'll give you them in a minute. Did I get what I wanted out of the camp? Yes, yeah, I 100% got what I wanted out of the camp. I really pushed the envelope and kind of found my limit with how much I was able to do in that given time. So within the two weeks, it was what, almost 60, 70 hours worth of work, 70 plus hours worth of work. So that's a lot, that's more than I've ever done before. So it was definitely a case of finding that limit, being able to recover off the back of it, because at the end of the day, if you can't recover off the training, then you're not improving. So. Yeah, bouncing back off of that and being able to be consistent because at the end of the day, that's the name of the game. What to do? One hour. Why is, why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Why do you have to do an extra hour? Because yeah. yesterday he basically bathed my gears. He basically took my cranks off, my bottom racket, and disconnected the cables so I couldn't ride him today. Before I didn't ride his legs off. And how much have you ridden, Oscar? Five hours, 58 currently. 58? So you definitely have to ride home, you can't stop the car in Yeah, I've only, I've only uh, two hours behind the boys. <laughs> 5.58, same as yesterday. Oh, what have you done, guys? Next up, I'll be looking to lower my intensity, but keep that quality or increase that quality of the training that I'm doing, just to make sure that I'm tuning the engine again. So bringing the volume down, but increasing the intensity so that the overall training stress score or training load is roughly the same and I'm still improving. But yeah, if you've got any value out of this or if you want any more insights, I've got actually a blog that I'm doing down in the description below, so check that out. 
it will be all of this sort of stuff just in a little bit more detail so that you're getting a little bit more insight into the numbers and the facts and actually you can comment and I'll get back to you with even more data and things. But yeah, that's an opportunity for you to get a little bit more of an insight. But if not, and you just want to hit subscribe, that's absolutely fine. I'll, I'll settle for that as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, mega day. Christ.